doing our farm basics time today, we're going to talk a little about chopping corn heads. And before we do, let me just step back for a minute. About 25 years ago on our farm, we started doing some no-till. We talked to a lot of other farmers who'd been no-tilling, and they said, oh, let your corn stalks stand tall. And so when you go through the field, try to combine as high as you can, let those stalks stand tall. And we found that to be an absolute disaster. Here's the reason why. Because it, let's just say you're a non-farmer. Uh, we talk about these topics just so you can get a little more in depth about what farmers actually do and what they have to go through. So for us on the farm, each spring, it's cold and wet. Every single spring, guaranteed, it's going to be cold and wet. So when we're trying to farm, what we have to do is, if you're in no-till, that means we don't do any tillage out there to make the ground black, to bury the residue, anything like that. We still have a lot of last year's residue left sitting there. So we'd go along with our planter and try to cut through these long pieces of stalk that would undoubtedly tip over right into our row, and we'd try to cut them. Well, if it's cold and wet, how well can you cut anything? Not very well at all. So we just found that to be complete disaster. We had terrible stands and we said, we have to make a change. Well, the best time to cut stalks is right at harvest. And if you can do it as a farmer with the machine that you're harvesting the corn with, well, that's great because it's gonna save you an extra trip across the field. So what we used to do back in the conventional tillage days when we were growing up is, well, we'd go through and combine, then we'd have all these big pieces of stalks out in the field. We'd have to come back and try and chop them up with a mower or with tillage oh, no, or something. A, sto a stock chopper is what we would use. Yeah, and so that was an easy job. And actually, they gave me that job when I was right out of college because they knew I couldn't screw it up. All you do is drive through the field and cut stuff up. But like Darren said, it's a lot easier if you can do that with the combine as you go. So we got and we demoed some chopping corn heads. We tried that no-till first, and now we use those in strip-till, and it was awesome because now the pieces of residue were very small and we could move those out of the way in the spring instead of having to try to cut through those when it's cold and wet. So we've ended up with a lot better stands, a lot faster emergence, and overall better yields and more profit. All right, the other two things that are real big pluses is now with the combine head, is it's gonna be the first thing that hits those 10 foot tall corn stalks in the field as it's harvesting them it chops the stalks right then before anybody's driven over anything. And that was another problem, even when you were chopping stalks, is, well, we'd already driven trucks and tractors and combines and everything through the field, and there were some paths that were already knocked over stalks, and we couldn't chop them up very well. Now it's all chopped and sized perfectly. The other thing is, it's chopped the day of harvest. So you've got small pieces of stalk that are sliced open, exposing more of that pulp inside the stalk, to bacterial breakdown, and that's what we're gonna see out in our fields. We've got bacteria in the soils that are gonna break down those stalks, and the more time they have to do it, the better. So these newer heads that have come out here in the last 10, 15 years that allow you the capability to chop stalks, we love them. And I don't care if we're talking about conventional till, no till, strip till, there's no way that I ever wanna go back in my farming career to a non chopping corn head. We're absolutely going to chop those stalks. We find it to be an enormous advantage. We have faster residue breakdown and we just get a much better stand in the next spring plus overall better yield and more profit. Another big advantage that we never want to go back from is great weed control out in our fields. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.